Hello friend, welcome. In this video, let's try to make our Java chess game playable between two instances of the app. Like, yeah, so the communication will happen between the socket uh, server and the client, right? And let's get started. So this is our chess controller and uh, first of all we'll move out this abstract with this duplicate code into our private function for example um, let's define the private function um, or method what is this guy let's make this Smaller. While we want to uh, take away this one, it's like uh, this. What's the best name for that? Cut is receive, receive, receive move, right? receive move so um, so here uh, we'll do receive move like that and the same thing here we'll do um, receive move and we don't need this this is like hard-coded testing code here um, okay now that this is not enough um, so here we need to improve actually fix something here so We'll do this. Mm. Let's move out this one. Um. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to try to connect. Uh, connect to the server. Make a connection every time when we click the click the button. Connect, right? So um, only when when this or this is now. Okay, we'll try to if try to make the connection if like scanner is now or uh, print writer is now at the beginning then we'll do this yeah otherwise we'll just use mm. we'll just use the existing one yeah so what does he complain here to socket oh, okay don't worry about that and So we have the scanner and uh, and uh, 
print the writer here receive move and uh, we have to put this one inside because this is a blocking um, here this is a blocking call so we need to create a, a thread right so we can do like X um, executors executors dot execute no we need to create a new fixed thread pool with um, we only need one thread so dot execute new runnable like that so this is the the thing we want to do here receive move um, okay and the same thing oh here this one is already inside our um, a run method and we need to, to do this um, the similar logic here if only if this one and that one is is um, now right we'll try to do the accept this is not accept so um, because we cannot do um, we don't need to do this accept always so um, we'll cut this out and uh, put it here and only when this is true then we'll do this thing okay What did I save it? Okay, what did I miss? Um, what's wrong here? Save. this one save it what did we say insert the final one. oh actually we don't need this try that's cool we don't need that so let's copy that here and uh, like that okay um, let's give it a try This is uh, this will be our server, and let's run another one. The second one will be our client, socket client. Okay. Um, let's trigger the server socket. 
okay here and uh, on the right let's click here to show the output of our socket client now connect okay connect the clicked okay now try to make a move it works you see here now let's make another move here cool right that's great um, that's it for today see you next time thank you for watching